everyone, so I'm making my Disneyland videos again, as you can see by watching this video, that this is a Disneyland video. So before I get into that, um, I'm in college right now, as you can see, college room dorm background instead of my normal room. Um, so the reason why I'm doing this now is because my roommate's not here, she's at class, and majority of my hallmates are at class too. So I won't feel all weird if they're like listening outside my door and be like, who's she talking to? But hallmates, if you are watching this and you've heard me earlier in the hall, I'm doing this video. I'm not crazy and talking to myself. Well, technically I am talking to myself, but on camera to viewers out there, okay? So um, anyways, let's get started with the videos. So the first day we went to California Adventures and went to the Hollywood Backlot Studios place area, yeah. And we went to the Animation Studios and we did the voiceover thing in Ursula's Grotto. And I do get a lot of questions as to where this place is. So you're in the Animation Studios, you walk in and it's straight ahead of you. And you go down this little ramp and it takes you down to the Sorcerer's Workshop. It doesn't seem like... Um, you do the voiceovers there because it's the room with all the drawings and then you put them in the mirrors and you spin them. So after that room, you go into the Beast Library and there you can like um, take quizzes to see oh, which character you most like. And I always get like Cinderella or Mulan. Is that racist? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not funny. Um, but yeah, after you find out who, you, what character you are, um, you go deeper into the hall and you'll come across Ursula's Grotto, and there's like little movie screens and then little touch screens that you can do, and that's where it is. So the first one is with me and my family singing Hi Ho as the Seven Dwarfs, and it's not that funny, but it was funny because we couldn't really coordinate how we were singing. So here's that. Now that I've stolen them, let's see how you did. <laughs> Let's do it. Hi. 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 And this one is when I was trying to sing the Ben Intruder song to the Bare Necessity song. And that didn't work out too well. He's climbing in your windows and snatching your people up. He's trying to find your kids so hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife. We gon' find you, we gon' find you. Yeah, pretty bad. Alright, so this next one, um, sometimes they have like acting things, so... I decided to make up my own lines for this, and I was trying to be funny, but I couldn't think like quickly off the top of my head because in the original clip, Beast talks really, really fast, and I couldn't keep up. So I was like, um, you'll see. Oh my God! What did you do that for? Are you so hairy? Are you so stinky? No, I farted. But it was good. Oh no, you're stinky. Go away. So after the animation studios, we were just wandering around the park and we went to check out Tron. So we were like just wandering around and we stood there for a while and my dad was like, oh, why don't you and your sister go check out that dance crew? So I was like, okay. And then so I just started filming because their dance moves were cool, as you can see here. <laughs> Wow. 
Um, so, while I was watching, I was like, hey, these people look familiar, but they don't, kinda, because I don't know who they are. And then, so the announcer comes out, um, at the end, and he's like, oh, give it up for Pyro, Pyro, oh, man, see, I can't even say their name, Pori, Poriotics or something like that. And they're from America's Best Dance Crew, and I watched a few episodes from that season, I guess. And then I was like, oh, hey, it's them. And my sister was like, oh my god, oh my god. But I was like, cool. Um, so they were there, as you can see from the clip. They're pretty good. Um, after that, we went back to the hotel and called it a day. And I'll tell you what we did in the next video.